Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. As you could read in the March update, the Pinebook Pro will switch the default image to Manjaro. And to prepare for that, I'm going to write some files that I still have on the Pinebook. I'm gonna write them to a 50 gigabyte Blu-ray disk and that way I can archive my files and I can overwrite the EMMC with the Manjaro image. I'm going to write the Blu-ray with K3B. You can find it with the package manager and I already started it once and then it told me to also install DVD plus RW tools. So I also did that. Now I'm going to start K3B. So you can start a new project. So in this case it would be a data project because it's just data. We're not going to compile an audio CD or DVD movie or even Blu-ray Blu movie. And then it can be just as simple as oh, adding the files to your project. Well, in this case I already prepared a small project. So all these selected files, they will show up in the lower part. And just to show you, here is a 50 gigabyte dual layer Blu-ray disk. I'm going to insert it, because you can see here in the left top that there's no medium present. And now it says it's an empty Blu-ray disc. Here in the bottom you can see how much data you have selected, how much data is still available. And as you can see, K3B says, although uh, the Blu-ray disc itself says 50 gigabytes, I'm not really sure if it's the difference between GB bytes, you know, base 10 or real gigabytes, you know, base 2. So for instance, 1024 um, is a kilo and kilo should be 1000. So there's a slight difference and I'm not really sure if it's caused by that or that it's caused by the overhead of a file system. Anyway, it's a good thing that K3B will tell you how much data you still have left. Now that we're all set, I'm gonna say burn. And I'm also going to verify the written data. Speed is set to auto. The burn medium is the empty disk. Well, we're not going to use an image file. We want to do it on the fly. And that's also why I'm not using a screen recorder because the screen recorder might consume too much of the system. 
file system. It says Linux, Unix plus Windows. Well, we'll keep it like that. I mean, look, it's, in theory, I could just pick just Linux, but for compatibility, you might never know if a Linux machine fails and that you have to fall back on a Windows machine, who knows? Better to keep it for better compatibility. We'll keep that for the rest as is. And we also keep this as is and we'll click burn. Well, we'll just use uh, the default settings because I don't think we changed anything. Now perhaps you can hear the drive spinning up. Whoops, it says found files bigger than 2 gigabytes. These files will only be fully oh boy, accessible if mounted with UDF. Well, perhaps I just created a coaster, who knows. But at least it's writing the data and we'll come back once this is finished. So, see you in a bit. And I think it's two and a half hours later and it says success. Uh, as you can see, elapsed time two hours and 27 minutes. At around 51% when it was verifying the data, it made a lot of noise. And well, the theory I have is that perhaps that's the moment where it switched between the two layers because 50 gigabytes, that means it's a dual layer Blu-ray disc. I was expecting that perhaps you would notice just one extra second of noise switching the layers, but well, I don't know what really happened there. In the end it said success, so well, whatever you like. Ah, oh, no, don't save that one. Enable to mount blank video, this location is already mounted. Well, let's see what it does. Okay, now it says can't mount UDF file system. Well, I'll check this once I've installed Manjaro. Perhaps it will work there. I already tried to install the UDF file system and I'm not really sure why it's not being picked up. I can show you. So, let's see, where are you? Yeah, this one I installed. And also the UDF client, UDF tools. I reboot it, but apparently it still doesn't like it. Anyway, I'm going to try on a Windows machine now. Let's see if it works on that side. And that's, I think, the good part that I chose for the compatibility with Linux and Windows.
So, here we have an HP laptop with an AMD Ryzen. And this is Windows 10. Well, at least on the Windows side, it is working and it sets when we created the project it said it had to switch to UDF because there were files larger than 2 gigabytes so let's see when we test one of these files okay the audio is working and when we get to the end of the file And it also works so at least on the Windows side it's working and as I said I'll test some more once I've installed Manjaro on the Pinebook Pro see if I can get it working on that side too that's it for now and probably next time I'll make a video on installing Manjaro on the eMMC of the Pinebook Pro that's it for now and hope to see you again next time.